Wow, this diagram looks absolutely amazing. So let me start by commending myself for drawing this. Kindly clap for me. Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to use the power of similar shapes to find a solution to this problem. This is a puzzle. But let me first of all start by explaining the content of this diagram. What you are seeing here at the back is a vertical wall. We have two bars. One is shorter than the other. This one is shorter than this. They are all from the same horizontal ground. And they are said to be parallel to the wall. This means that both are standing vertically. What we have here is a light casted on these two bars. After casting light on these two bars, the shorter bar, which has a height of 2 meters, produces a shadow of 3 meters. You know definitely if you cast light on vertical bars, they have to produce shadows. But look at this question. It asks us to find the height of the longer bar, which we don't know. But after casting a light on this longer bar, it produces a shadow of 6 meters before hitting the vertical wall. And the rest of the shadow, which is going to take turn vertically, produces 4 meters towards the vertical wall. So before we start applying these similar shapes, I would like to let you know that Suppose this vertical wall is absent. This extra 4 meter shadow casted on the wall would have been longer than 4 meters. Definitely. That's number one condition you should know. Number two, suppose this bar is to be taken closer and closer to the wall, even should be attached. The shadow of this bar will be exactly equal to the height of the bar. That's true. So we are going to pretend something here. We are going to let assume this 4 meter shadow on the wall to be also another bar. So if it is a bar, if you should cast a light on it, it is going to produce a shadow as well. So that shadow that is going to be produced, we are going to let it to be equal to X because we don't know it. So let us have an, an imaginary shadow. Let me bring my 4 meters here. So this 4 meter height, suppose it is a bar, if you cast a light on it, it is going to produce a shadow of length x. And this shadow of length x plus this 6 meter will be the total length of the shadow of this longer bar. Suppose the wall is absent. So let us start relating. Let's forget about the longer bar for now. Suppose this 4 meter shadow is a bar. The ratio of the height of this bar to the length of its shadow, which is x, must be equal to the ratio of the height of this uh, shorter bar to the length of its shadow as well. So let us relate them. The ratio here is going to be 4 over x. So we have 4 over x. This must be equal to 2 over 3. 2 over 3. Let us cross multiply. x times 2 is 2x. And 4 times 3 is equal to 12. If you divide both sides by 2, you have your value of x. x is equal to 6 meters. So this is to say that, suppose this wall is absent here, uh, the, the length of the shadow of this longer bar would have been 6 plus 6 because x is now equal to 6, which is equal to 12. So the length of the shadow of this longer bar is equal to 12 meters. Having obtained this value to be equal to 6, I can write it here for future use. So what do we do next? Now, since we know that uh, the length of this shadow, suppose the wall is absent, is going to be equal to 12, we can now relate the ratio of the length of this shadow to the height of the bar to this one as well. So let me clean this one. So we don't know the length of this longer bar. We can let it to be equal to y. So y divided by the length, which we have as 12, 6 plus 6 is 12, must be equal to uh, 2 over 3 as well. We have 2 over 3. Cross multiply. 
y times 3 is 3y and 12 times 2 is 24. We are looking for y and y is said to be the height of the longer bar. y will be equal to 24 divided by 3. And finally y is equal to 8 and this 8 is in meter. What does this mean? It means that the height of this longer bar is equal to 8 meters. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Kindly share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.